All right, Shalom. This is Yai Kuo with GMS Dallas Camp. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who teach him real well. And salutations to the Hakim scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, keeping this truth in, uh, uh, keeping this truth in sincerity. I'm just going to go into uh, Galatians chapter 5, you know, real quick. I'm not going to go through the whole chapter, but just make touch on a uh, quick few points all right this is uh, Galatians 5 verse 1 all right stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Hashemach had made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage all right you know what I'm saying what was that liberty you know that liberty uh, you know wherewith you how Hamashiach had made us free it's talking about yeah you know yeah how was I being put on that cross you know what I'm saying, and dying for the sins of the nation of Israel. You know what I'm saying. So, just because Yahweh Shai died for you and for your sins, don't mean that you can just go around and do whatever you want to do. You know, that's that. That's the mentality of these Christians. You know what I'm saying. They go to church on Sunday. You know what I'm saying. But but before the day before that, at Saturday they'll be at the club or. At a party, house party, whatever, doing all kinds of wickedness. And then once they get to church on Sunday, they think like, okay, I'll just ask Jesus for forgiveness and I'm good. That's what he did, right? That's that's what we're doing. That's, that's what this is all for. Jesus died for my sins, so I'm good, right? Just ask for forgiveness. That's, that's what the Bible says. You know what I'm saying? That's the, mentali- that's the mentality of these people. Not understanding that, hey, look, like it says right here. Therefore, in the liberty wherewith uh, stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Hamashiach ha- had made us free. You know what I'm saying? That's why the scriptures say that uh, use not your liberty as a cloak of maliciousness. You know? Alright? Verse 2. Behold, I, Paul, say unto you that if ye be circumcised, Hashemach shall profit nothing. You know what I'm saying? What does that mean? You know what I'm saying? Being circumcised, you know, like keeping the whole law. You know? All right, verse three. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to do the whole law, and that's right. That's why in James the second chapter it says that. Like, look, if you find fault in one, uh, if you, uh, yeah, if you're found fault, if you are fault found in a, f- all right, let's get it. I don't want. I feel like I'm gonna say it wrong if I say it. You know what I'm saying? Let's get that real quick. Let's see. It's James chapter two. I believe it says, uh, uh, right here it says, uh, James 2 verse 8, ye fulfill the royal law according to the scriptures thou shalt love. Oh, okay, so like it, let's see. Uh, Okay, Khan, Salaki, let me, uh, give me one second, I'm trying to find... Okay, man, I, I just read it too, you know what I'm saying, Salaki, I read over it. But this is, uh, James chapter 2, verse 10. For whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. And that's true. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm going to come back to James chapter 2, but I want to go back to that Galatians. Alright? And that's true, man. If you offend, if you try and keep the whole law and you offend in one, then you are guilty of all. Alright? Meaning what? It's impossible. Mm. It's not, uh, expedient. You know what I'm saying? That you keep, that you keep mm. the whole law. All right, it's not you know. There's a time and a place for anything right now. Everything you know, and right now, it ain't time for that. You know what I'm saying? That's why we have the uh, Yahweh Shai, man. You know, through Yahweh Shai, we have the ability of forgiveness of sins. You know, we we have that grace. We in that in a grace period, and you know, just like every any any other grace period. For for example, let's say you paint a car. And then you 
not able to pay the uh, the next month's uh, car note. You know, they give you what? You know what I'm saying? They give you a few days a grace period. <coughs> and I know that to be true because when I, I used to have a Mustang, you know, and, then, and back then it was a... a it was the year 2012, but the Mustang was a 2011, or I believe it was 2010, but I wasn't able to, and eventually I wasn't able to keep paying it, but they would give me a 15-day grace period, you know what I'm saying, before they, uh, you know what I'm saying, before they started, uh, you know, uh, putting them fees in there and charging all kinds of shit on there, you know what I'm saying, so they give you a 15-day grace period, man, it's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? We're in the grace period right now. But just because you're in the grace period don't mean you can just do whatever the hell you want. You know what I'm saying? That's why it says right there, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Hamashiach had made us free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Alright? Now I'm going to go back to where we stopped off, right? For I testify again to every man that is circumcised, he is a debtor to the whole law. Going back to what we read in James the second chapter. Verse 4, Hamashiach has become of no effect unto you, whosoever of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace, man. So if you are here trying to keep the whole law, the law this, the law that, it's, it's only about the law, you know what I'm saying, then uh, Hamashiach has become no effect to you, man. You know, all that Yahweh was for not, all, the, all that Yahweh Shai did was for not, all right? Verse 5, for we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach neither circumcision or faith, not anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. You know what I'm saying? So what does that mean, man? You gotta have faith in this thing. At the same time, you gotta keep the laws to the best of your ability. That's why in the book of Joshua it says, um, you know, that we rehearse the righteous acts. You know what I'm saying? And uh, David said that uh, blessing is blessed is a man in whom the most high imputed not iniquity. Now how do you do that? How does that how, how does that come into effect? You trying to keep the laws the best of your abilities. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we a hey, we wear like the law says not to wear mixed linen, but everything is made is made of mixed linen. It's impossible. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and for you to be doing that, you know what I'm saying, it's not expedient. You know what I'm saying? It's not wise, to, you know, to try and keep the whole law, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why it says, um, it says, uh, where is it? For in Yahweh HaMashiach, neither circumcision avail in anything, nor on circumcision, but faith which worketh by love, man. You know, we gotta have faith in Yahweh HaMashiach, Yahweh HaMashiach. You know what I'm saying? We gotta, you know, pray for forgiveness. That's the most high to forgive us for being wicked. You know what I'm saying? And all that. And understand that trying to keep the law is something that we really can't do right now. And we shouldn't do. Because if we do, and we find, you know, like we read in James, James chapter, the second chapter, uh, you know, if we're found fault in one, but then we're guilty of the whole law. And then in Galatians it says that Hamashiach uh, uh, may uh, come to no, to no effect of us. You know? Let's see. Uh, oh, man. What you say? Let's see. Uh, James. Back to James chapter 2. So what do we do, right? Let's see. It says. Uh, let's see. Uh, jump down. Okay, 14. What does the prophet, my brethren, though a man say he has faith and have not works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doth it profit? Even so faith, it had not works, is dead being alone, man. You know what I'm saying? So if, if faith, not having those works to show that your faith is dead being alone. Now, can faith save you? Like, no, man. You got to have works. Now, can works save you? No. You got to have faith. 
Man, you gotta have that balance. You gotta have that understanding. You gotta have that that balance. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Cause look, we go to uh, what is that? Romans third chapter. Do we then make void the law through faith? The most I forbid. Yea, we establish the law. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of things that will trip a lot of people up. That don't have that don't have that understanding. They don't know that. Look, you gotta have faith and works. You gotta have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, and you gotta do the works, man. You gotta keep the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability. If you have the option not to eat pork, then don't eat it. You know, there's bullshit in all the food, but hey, look, the most high sees that you're trying, that's showing your faith through your works. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that you brothers got the gist of it. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, brothers, well edified. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.